Hey guys, welcome back to Outdoors Learning, and today we are going to be talking about Pleistocene Park and how one man is trying to save the planet from global warming. Let's go! In Russia, there is a natural preserve trying to recreate the past. Pleistocene Park is an ecological experiment trying to recreate the Mammoth Steppe. The Mammoth Steppe was once the largest biome in the world, stretching all the way across the Northern Hemisphere, from Russia, through Europe, and all the way to the USA. It was a large plains supporting lots of life, but now it's overgrown with trees because all of the megafauna is extinct. This is leading to climate change. The Mammoth Steppe had large megafauna like mammoths, to knock down trees and clear the ground of snow by stomping on it in search of food. The lesser snow meant that more cold air went into the ground, freezing the permafrost. Today, however, there is a large blanket of snow on the ground, keeping the ground nice and warm because snow is a great insulator, meaning that the permafrost will melt, releasing deadly gases in, like methane into the air, warming the planet, and so on, releasing even more gases. This would put restoring the permafrost at the same level of importance as saving the rainforests and coral reefs. Today, the air temperature in Russia is negative 40 degrees Celsius in winter and the ground temperature of only negative 5 degrees Celsius, unlike 14,000 years ago when the snow was removed by the megafauna and the ground temperature was negative 30 degrees Celsius, freezing deeper into the permafrost. This is when a man named Sergei Zimov and his son Nikati Zimov had an idea. Their idea was to try to recreate the mammoth step by reintroducing large animals that had survived the ice age. They started by using an old decommissioned tank to knock down large trees and clear the ground near the park. This reserve is only 7.5 miles square, but Zimov says that he wants to expand it later. In 1996, Zimov released Yakushin horses from the nearby Yakushin region. Then, moose naturally moved into the park. In 2010, muskox were introduced, and in April of 2011, elk, European, and European bison arrived. In 2016, reindeer were brought, and in 2017, yak were introduced. Now there are also sheep, American bison, and calamai cows, with plans to bring saiga antelope and kaying, which are a type of wild donkey. Now there are 10 large mammal populations in the area. Before Zimov had founded the park, only moose and reindeer lived in this area. Zimov's plan is working. In the area where the large mammals live, the permafrost is staying frozen for a longer period of time. The temperature of the permafrost is slowly returning to the levels that they saw during the ice age. Doing this all around the world could help stop the spread of climate change, they say. This is a before and after shot of Pleistocene Park's Plains area. If you like this, the link to Pleistocene Park's website is in the description, and if you want to help and support them. Thanks for watching this video by Outdoors Learning. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you later!